Hi friends, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and in today's video, I wanted to explain you about what is the methodology to learn Pega at its best. So if you want to master any technology, this approach is going to give you the best result and you can become a techie. And why we come up with this methodology? The reason being, many people, they are learning the tool, Pega tool, but when we give them a business requirement, they are not able to do it on their own. And also while attending the interviews, people are struggling to answer the interview questions when the interviewers are going to ask you about some scenario based questions. How to, le how to easily understand, how to easily crack this interviews and all, I'll tell you in future videos, but let's focus on learning point. So if you want to learn the technology at its best, so coming to the Pega tool, if you want to learn Pega tool at its best, you follow, you try to follow this methodology. So let me tell you a little bit of information why we come up with this methodology is many students, when we teach them a technical aspect and we give them a business requirement, we tell them a business requirement, we usually while teaching, we explain the business requirement in detail and we create a documentation of documentation screenshot by screenshot screenshot by screenshot with complete navigations we will give them in order to uh, which is going to give them the solution to implement the business problem see now people are following the document screenshot by screenshot they are following and they are getting the output result like this it is proceeding 10 days 15 days 20 days one month three months after at the end of the day if we give them any business scenario, they are not able to do by their own. So many people, this is what happening. Not everyone, but many of the resources, they are not able to implement the business requirement by their own. And in, in, in and when they are being asked some scenario based questions in interviews, they are not able to crack it. See, and one more thing that we have observed is the students while practicing following the document, if they are facing any error, error or if they are not getting the output, while they are not getting the output, see they are simply coming back to the trainer and asking that I am not getting the output, I followed everything in the document, can you please tell me where is the mistake. See, let me tell you one thing, if you are the one who created something, if there is a fault in that creation, you are the only one you should be able to fix it. If your design and your development, if you are not able to find out the fault, where is it? How come others will be able to find out? Which is really difficult for others. See, if you are trying to implement something, when you face an issue and when you are not getting expected output, if you are looking for others help, that means you are just doing a copy paste work. Remember one thing, a copy paste work will never give you any knowledge. If you want to gain knowledge, it is not that copy paste you have to follow. So you have to first understand the business problem. So whatever the business problem that is given, so first you need to understand the business problem. And as you already learned the technical things, I you, you must be technically understand the rules. So technically, you should have a clear idea about each and every rule, each and every rule. And when I say technically, you should have clear idea about each and every rule. So you need to know the purpose, purpose of each rule. Like what is the purpose of a section? When, in which scenario we need to create section? If I have given your requirement, please create a user interface screen. Then you should get the idea, okay, I, because I have been asked to create UI, I need to create a rule called section. If you are getting this idea means, you understand the purpose of section and you know when to create a section rule. So this is what, understand, then you should have to have clear idea about business problem. So business problem you need to understand first. After you understand business problem, you need to know about the solution for it. So you need to think about solution, how to solve the business problem also, you should have the clear idea in your mind. And now you start, usually you start development, right? You do not blindly start your development here. 
See, I request you to follow this process anytime when you are trying to implement a business requirement. Let us take a business, simple business requirement. For example, if I have been asking you to create a form using which we can search for a customer, search for a customer based on customer's phone number. So, in the user interface, when we enter customer phone number and hit a search button, I want you to display the results in the screen. And this customer details are there in a DB table, in a DB table where you have customer ID, name of the customer, address of the customer, customer ID and name of the customer, I am sorry, phone number, right? So, phone number and name, address, like this the details are there. So, these are the artifacts that are being given to you and these are the things which you have been given. This is the business problem and this is the repository that is being provided to you. Now, you need to implement this business requirement. You already learned technical aspects, everything in Pega. If you are being given with this business requirement, it was not told in the class. You don't know about this requirement before, but maybe similar requirements you would have done. If you are getting clear ideas about how to implement this, what rules to be created and what are the steps to be followed to implement and create rules, what are the steps to be added in the respect to rules. If you are getting all this idea where to refer the rules, where to call the rules, that means you are technically good now. Okay. So, before you proceed with the development, you need to first write down about the solution in a simple algorithm format, okay, like step by step in an English language you need to write, okay. For this problem, if I want to solve in Pega, I should get an idea. First UI I, I have to create, let us say, user interface means I need to create section and if required, I may have to create flow action or harness that should come into my mind. Customer data is there in customer table. Business is asking, we need to perform a search on this table to pull a record from the table based on phone number, one record they want you to pull. That means, which method you have to use in the activity or if you are using data page or some other rules, how to implement it, you should. So, you should get a clear idea about what are the rules overall that I need to create in order to implement this requirement and, up, and what is the order in order, uh, order to create these rules and where to call these rules. All these ideas if you are getting, which means you are technically good and you, are, you will be able to independently develop the business scenarios and you will be called as a techie. So, first before you proceed with development, first you try to understand the business problem in detail and think about the business rules to be created and think about the solution how to implement it. The same you write down in English language, simple words. First step one. So, step one, I should be creating UI here to perform a customer search and the search should happen on the table, correct? So, table should be there. If table is not there, then you need to create table and have some data in the table, data in the table. First, you need to have properties, right? Create, step two, create page properties, page properties, which you can use in the UI. And step three, you have to create, again, section and add the controls and use above properties here, above page properties here, okay. So, this is step 3, okay. I have created a table if not present, created page properties and then created section, added controls, mapped these controls to page properties and with this user interface is designed. Next step 4 and in the step 4, you need to perform a search for that. I am going ahead with an activity, create an activity. So, in the activity, I need to use, let us say, obj open method. obj open method, I am going to use. I will get the data onto temp page. I will get the data onto temporary page. But in the UI, I did not use temp page. I have used some other page. Next, the results which you have retrieved from this table, I want to display in UI. Then step 5, then copy data from temp page to UI page, whatever the page that you have used in UI, you have to copy it to that, then data will get displayed. 
See, if you are going to write step by step like this, which means you clearly understand the technology, you clearly understand the business requirement, you know the implementation steps and all. The same steps what you have written here as an algorithm, you try to implement this on Pega by creating the respective rules. So, if you are trying to write step by step like this before you practically do it, any requirement, which means that you are clearly understanding the technology, you are clearly understanding the business requirement, you know how to solve it. Anywhere in between, if you face any issue of the output, you will be able to clearly understand how to troubleshoot and where to look at, which step there may be a failure. That and all you will be able to clearly understand. If you follow this methodology of learning, definitely you will be mastering Pega for sure. So, I request all of my students to follow like this, take your enough time and try to think about it and have full focus and dedication on what you are doing. Try to understand the technical aspects and its purpose and business, business uh, uh, problem and the problem solution steps. Try to implement the same in the uh, using uh, by creating the rules and definitely you will be learning Pega at its best and you are going to master it for sure. Okay. So, thank you very much uh, watching this video and if you are a follower of our YouTube channel, try to uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and if any one of the uh, any one of your friends or family members or anyone in your circle, if they are uh, trying to learn any of the courses like Pega, Salesforce, DevOps or maybe any other technologies, you can refer our training, training academy. We help them not only in the learning process, but also getting them the IT software job. Thank you very much once again. Uh, myself Harsha signing off.